Are you planning to move to Ajax? Do you have kids? If you answered yes to those two questions, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video that covers the top five schools here in Ajax, and we're getting into it right after this. Hey, what's going on? My name is Brad Gates with Right at Home Realty and I'm a local realtor here in Ajax, Ontario. If you have not visited my channel before or watched any of my videos and you wanna know what it's like to eat, sleep, play, live, everything right here in the greater Toronto area, then you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to the channel and click that little bell. That way you're notified each and every time I do post new videos or I go live, which I do from time to time. I have people reaching out from all over the world that are looking to move or relocate here to Ajax, Oshawa, Whitby, Pickering, Toronto, and I absolutely love it. So if you are looking at relocating here or moving away from the uh, greater Toronto area, you can call, text, email, send the carrier pigeon, whatever is easiest for you, and I'm here to make your move and relocation go so much easier. In this video, I'm going to be uncomforting the top five schools ranked in Ajax, and this is based on the Fraser Institute's ranking, who does all the schools in Ontario. Our fifth top school with a ranking of 7.6 out of 10 is Nottingham Public School, and this is located at Westney and Rosalind Road. The school boundary area, so if you lived within this boundary, then you would be going to this school, is from Rosalind up north to Taunton, and then from Westney to just a little bit past Harwood. It's a funky shape to try and explain exactly, so I do have the boundary map on the screen right now. You're also seeing the scores from 2016 to give you a general idea of how this school has been doing over the last four to five years. The two main areas, if you are looking to move to Ajax and you wanted your child to go to this school, would be Northwest Ajax and Northeast Ajax. So these are two areas that, depending on where you lived within those two areas, would determine if you go to that school or not. So our fourth top school with a ranking of 7.7 .7 out of 10, and just keep in mind that this is based on the Fraser Institute ranking system, and they've done the testings within the school and they've kind of analyzed all this data, and the provincial average is six out of 10. So considering the top five schools are all over seven, just goes to show that the schools here in Ajax generally are pretty good. Uh, so back to number four with a 7.7 .7 out of 10 is Southwood Park Public School. And this is a school that's located in the Pickering Beach Road and Dryer Drive, uh, that general type area. You're seeing the boundary map on the screen right now, which will give you a kind of a better idea of where exactly it's located. It's located from Lake Ontario up north to Clements Road East, and then from uh, Pickering Beach Road, and then it goes west to around Harwood Avenue. You are seeing on the screen right now scores from 2016, again, to give you a general idea of how the school has been doing over the last few years. And then two main areas that would feed into this school would be Southeast and Southwest. So for Southwest, it's just a little section that you can see uh, that does feed into this school. So if you did want your children to go to this school and you moved within that boundary map, um, the two areas, Southeast and Southwest, is kind of where you want to be looking. But again, if the school was the one you wanted, then you would have to just confirm that the house you're looking at does allow your child to go to this school. Our third top school with a ranking of 7.8 out of 10 is St. Teresa of Calcutta. And this is a school which is located in the Harwood and Rosalind area. Uh, the school boundary that you're seeing on the screen right now runs from 401 North to Rosalind Road. And then it goes from Lake Ridge uh, West to Harwood Road. So it gives you an idea of where the boundary is for this school. You are seeing the scores on the screen right now from 2016 to give you a general idea of how the school has been doing. Uh, two areas that feed into this school, if you were looking to move to Ajax, would be Central and Central East. So depending again on your exact address uh, would determine if you would, your children would be going to this school. So it is something that if this was the school that you wanted your children to go to, then you would want to, you know, double check pretty much on every single property that you like, that it does allow you to come to this school. 
our second highest rated school with a ranking of 8.2 out of 10, which is a fantastic rating, is Vimy Ridge Public School. Uh, this is a school that's located at the Rosalind and Wesney area. You're seeing the school boundary map on the screen right now, which gives you an idea of, you know, where you have to live in order to go to this school. So the main area would be from Rosalind up north, just about south of Taunton. From and then also from Westney Road uh, west to Ravenscroft. Uh, so that's kind of the general area of the school. So if you lived within that boundary, there's a good chance you're going to be going to the school. I always advise people that are looking to move to a specific area to confirm the, the address with the school uh, just to make sure that you are buying a house or moving into an area that would allow you to go to the school if it was that important to you. You're seeing the scores on the screen right now since 2016, which will give you a good idea of how the school has been rated over the last few years. The main area that feeds into this school, so if you lived within Northwest Ajax, depending on where you live, you, your children would be going to this school. And the number one rated school in Ajax with a perfect 10 out of 10 ranking is the Islamic Foundation School of Durham. And it's located in the oddly just north of Taunton type area right next to Deer Creek Golf Course. I don't know much about this school because it is a private school and it does have very strong uh, scores. So you can see the last four year scores have been perfect tens out of 10. So it is something where the testing that is being done by the Fraser Institute, uh, this school has definitely nailed on how to, um, you know, properly teach the children and uh, just so that they're consistently scoring very well. The boundaries, I assume, would be all of Durham, but again, you would want to confirm with the school uh, what the boundaries would be and then also what fees there are. Because it's a private school, you do have enrollment fees, application fees, and then you're going to have your actual tuition that you're paying to go to this school. Definitely, if it is something that you wanted your children to go to this school, uh, give them a call and then you can uh, find out exact details for it. Well, that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, be sure to like and also maybe share the video with uh, friends or family that you know is looking to move to Ajax as well. If you forgot at the beginning, subscribe to the channel and click that little bell. That way you're notified each and every time I do post new videos. If you already have subscribed to my channel, please don't try and subscribe again because it will actually unsubscribe you and then you will not be notified when I do release new videos or I am releasing um, like a live that I do from time to time, which is just set up as a question and answer that uh, people looking to move to the area can just ask questions about what it's like to live here or uh, real estate questions in general. I have people reaching out from all over the world that are looking to move to the greater Toronto area and I absolutely love it. So if you are looking to either relocate here or move away from here, you can call, text, email, send the carrier pigeon, whatever is easiest for you and I'm here to make your move and relocation go so much easier. Uh, check out the rest of my channel because I do have playlists set up so that you can, uh, depending on which city you want to move to. So if you want to move to Oshawa, Whippy, Ajax, Pickering, uh, Toronto, I have specific playlists set up so that all my videos based on those cities are all kind of organized for you so you can go through and watch them. Uh, just keep in mind, I started in Oshawa uh, back in November and my videos... I had a lot of learning to do, so there may not be the perfect, but the information is good, and that's kind of what's important. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.